Hello, and I got another story for you. All right, and it comes from my first bedtime storybook, Christmas. And this one is called Mickey and Friends Mini Saves Christmas. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Mickey and Minnie and friends had been working hard preparing for Christmas, and it was only one day away. Suddenly, a timer rang. Minnie jumped up. My cookies are ready. Who wants one? As Minnie took the cookies out of the oven, there was a loud crash in the other room. Goofy dro dove under the table. Gosh, what was that? Minnie looked toward the living room. It sounded like it came from the fireplace. Donald looked excited. Maybe it's Santa Claus. Everyone raced to the fireplace. But it wasn't Santa. Claus, it was Mrs. Claus. Merry Christmas, everyone. Minnie was surprised. Why, Mrs. Claus, what brings you here? Mrs. Claus looked at her friends. Oh, I need your help. Santa accidentally shrunk his mittens and his big red bag when he ran them through the wash. And now I'm afraid he won't be able to deliver presents tonight. Donald was shocked. What? No presents? Goofy shook his head. I wish we had an unshrinking machine. Minnie thought for a moment and then made a dash for the kitchen. I know just what we need. Minutes later, Minnie returned. Santa could use this big red tablecloth for a bag, Minnie said. And we can tie it shut with this ribbon and he can wear these mittens, mitts as mittens. Mickey smiled. Great idea, Minnie. Mrs. Claus beamed. Oh, wow. Yeah, great idea, Minnie. Okay, that's what I'm at. Okay. Mrs. Claus beamed. Oh, thank you, Minnie. You saved Christmas. Minnie giggled. It was my pleasure. Well, I better hurry back to the North Pole. Who wants to come with me? Everyone cheered as they climbed into the sleigh with Mrs. Claus and took off to the sky. Santa was waiting for them when they arrived at the North Pole. Thank goodness you're back and just in the nick of time, too. Everyone pitched in to help the elves load Christmas Santa's sleigh. Just then, Pluto started barking. He wanted to help, too. Minnie used the rest of her ribbon to make a special harness for Pluto, with an extra special bow, of course. Mrs. Claus, Minnie, and the rest of the gang waved as the reindeer and Pluto pulled Santa's sleigh up, up, up into the night sky. It was going to be the best Christmas ever. Aw, that was so cute. I like that one, too. And it was pretty fast, too. I hope I didn't skip any pages. I don't think I did. Nope, it just was faster. Let me see. She said, great idea, Minnie. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we were at. Yep, that's all of it. And the next story will be called Aurora's Homemade Holiday. That's the next one. And this was my first bedtime storybook for Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be reading this one in just a few minutes. So you can listen to this story too. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Hope you enjoyed these stories and you can listen to them anytime that you like. Take care and God bless.